Hello and welcome to FinEd, your favorite financial education channel. Today, we're going to be talking about tax and non-residents in South Africa. As you may know, South Africa has a residence-based tax system, which means that residents are taxed on their worldwide income, regardless of where it is earned. Non-residents, on the other hand, are only taxed on income from a South African source. To avoid the possibility of double taxation, South Africa has entered into double taxation agreements, DTAs, with other countries. These DTAs can provide tax relief for non-residents earning income in South Africa as long as certain requirements are met. Let's take a look at the types of income that non-residents may earn in South Africa and how they are taxed. First, let's talk about employment income. If you're a non-resident earning salary income in South Africa, it will be subject to normal tax unless a DTA specifies otherwise. So it's important to check whether a DTA exists between South Africa and your country of residence and what the provisions of the DTAs are. Next, let's talk about investment income. This includes things like interest earned from a South African bank or dividends from South African companies. This type of income is also subject to normal tax unless the DTA provides for a lower rate or exemption. Non-residents may also earn income from a business or profession carried on in South Africa. This income is subject to normal tax unless a DTA provides for a lower rate or exemption. It is important for non-residents to understand their tax obligations in South Africa and to ensure that they comply with the relevant regulations. Failing to do so can result in penalties and fines. I hope this information was helpful. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.